Hi everyone, welcome to ITS workshop. So as we are discussing collection framework, let us start each interface one by one. So we saw in collection framework that uh, we are basically dealing with four interfaces. List interface, SAT interface, map interface and queue interface. So first of all, let us discuss about list interface. So a list cares about the index. So whenever uh, you are dealing with a list, it means indexing is there. So it maintains index like a simple array. It maintains index, zeroth index, first index, second index like that. Then it has set of methods related to the index like get index, index of, add, and etc. So whenever there is list index is there and we have some couple of methods dealing with list index all three list implementations are ordered by index position so we have list in three category array list vector and linked list and all of three are ordered and these are ordered collection by their index position so let us talk about uh, these one by one. First of all, array list is there. So array list, uh, we know array like uh, array list can be considered in same way, but the difference is array is limited size. We are storing some similar type of elements. So then we can consider array, but uh, in array we have to provide the size while declaration so like this array will contain 10 elements like that but if you need something like array but you don't want to limit yourself with the size then you can consider array list so array list is nothing but a growable array it gives you fast iteration and fast random access it is an order collection by index but not sorted so it is sort it is not sorted it, it uh, the value of each index item can be random or can be sorted but it is not sorted by nature but it is ordered it follows some sort of indexing so in array it implements random access interface so there are two classes one array list and another vector those implements random access interface so random access is used uh, when you just want to select when you just want to iterate any object randomly so at the time random access interface is there so why why should i choose error list so whenever we need fast iteration but we are not concerned with the insertion or deletion we can consider array list so array list is good for iteration and fast random access but it is not not good for if you want to insert any item at random position or if you want to delete any item randomly so for insertion deletion it is not good but for faster fast iteration it is good let us talk about vector so vector came before then array list and you can uh, consider as the old array list and it is similar to array list but the difference is that vector methods are synchronized for thread safety so when we are concerned with thread safety we should use vector but using vector adds a more performance hit so if you need more safety more thread safety you ha you'll have to compromise with the performance hit it will be uh, slower than in if i compare to the array list but the requirement is thread safety it also implements random access interface so like array list it also implement random access interface but when you are not concerned with thread safety then you can consider array list otherwise both are same so vector methods are synchronized for thread safety while array list method are not synchronized for thread safety otherwise both are same then we have something known as linked list 
so linked list is also very useful and it is ordered by index position like array list except that the elements are doubly linked to one another so in array list we have one element other element third element and there is no such thing as linking but here we have index linked list in which elements one element is linked with the other element so more methods for adding and removing from the beginning or the end so we have all the general methods who comes in array list other than that we have some extra method for adding and removing element we can add element from the beginning we can remove element from the end an easy choice for implementing a stack or queue so if you want to implement a stack or queue we can consider linked list in which one item is linked to other item so the thing the problem with linked list is that iteration is slowly if you compare to array list but it is good choice when you need fast insertion and deletion now you can see that array list is bad for fast insertion and deletion while linked list is good in fast insertion and deletion so also java utility queue interface supporting the common queue methods peak all and offer so linked list like we have talked uh, it implements list interface and it also implements queue interface so there are these methods peak all and offer method these can be used so we have considered three things array list it uh, those are nothing but growable array in which fast iteration but slow insertion and deletion vector same as array list the only difference is methods are synchronized for thread safety and in linked list we have elements linked to each other but due to this linking iteration is slow while we have faster insertion and deletion so that's it for today the, these are the things in under list interface we'll consider these we'll take example for these classes and separately so thank you for watching if you like this video please click on like button and please subscribe for more videos like this thank you